Paul Carberry who takes up the early running by five lengths or so to All La Loire, the long odds on favourite in second, then Simply Gifted third, followed by Golden Rule on the outside from Tequila and a gap of four lengths to half a rad, rounding the home turn on the first occasion. And they uh, will face up to three flights in the home straight this time and it's sharp at 10 out in front by three lengths to all the loire length away then simply give to the green cap on the inside as they come to the first and the leader ran it down uh but he got away with it sharp at 10 by three lengths to all the loire the outside no damage done and third is simply gifted followed then on the outside by golden rule as they come to the second leader jumping out to his right again and tequila second last afarad held up at the rear heading up the home straight towards flight number three, no pace on, and sharp at 10 by length or so, comes to this one, that was a better jump, all the Loire wasn't that fluent, got away with it though, I think he'd appreciate them going a bit more of a gallop, then in third is uh, simply gifted the inside, further back then golden rule from Tequila and two lengths to Afarad as they race up to the judge now and they've got a complete circuit and six flights to jump. And the leader is sharp at 10 by length to all the Loire. Two lengths away, simply gifted, tucked away on the inside from Golden Rule. A length away to Keeler. Two lengths down to Afarad. Seven or eight lengths covers the field as they turn towards the back now. They've got three flights down there and still sharp at 10. Dictating terms by three parts to all the Loire. Tony McCoy just easing to the outside and edging that little bit closer from Simply Gifted, held up in third in the box seat. Half a length away is Golden Rule, followed by Tequila and Afarat as last of the sextet as they head into the back now towards flight number six. And all the Loire, a mighty leap on the outside. And uh, he goes over that one, flight number four, about a neck in front of Sharp at 10. Tucked away in third on the inside is Simply Gifted, followed by Golden Rule as they head towards the fifth. And all the Loire on the outside. Let's see how he jumps out in spectacular fashion. Lands over the length in front of Sharp at 10. Then Golden Rule on the outside in third. And the long odds on favourite has gone two lengths clear as they head now towards four out. It's all the Loire by a length and a half to Sharp at 10. As he comes to this one, he asks for a big one and just got it in two by three lengths or so. All the Loire by three lengths to Golden Rule as they prepare to leave the back. Then back in third place at this stage, Simply Gifted, moving up on the outside, followed by Afarad, sharp at 10, dropping out the back door and about to be passed by Tequila. But they're on the uh, turn now, out of the back and heading towards the home bend. It's All Loire with a double handful, Tony McCoy, leads by two lengths, the golden rule, Simply Gifted, now being niggled along. Afarad in behind them from Tequila and four lengths away as sharp at 10, has gone from first to last. They're on the turn for home in the Glenlivet anniversary four-year-old novices hurdle and all the Loire the long odds on favorite is two or three lengths clear and uh, racing uh, very confidently in the lead over on the far side there Afarad the white cap looming up with golden rule three out and all the Loire jumped that in spectacular fashion again he's now starting to ride McCoy three parts in front of golden rule they're followed then by Afarad coming now towards the second last all the Loire jumped that one well uh, two lengths to golden rule followed then by Afarad who's battling away from Simply Gifted who can find no more. One left to jump though, All La Loire, three in front, comes towards the last, wasn't that fluent at it but lands over it safely from Golden Rule and Afarad running on. A further back is Simply Gifted, Tequila. They've got a furlong left to go, it's All La Loire about four lengths in front. Afarad trying hard to pick him up but he's far too classy. All La Loire, Tony McCoy going under score here by four or five lengths in second. Afarad third, then is Golden Rule, fourth is simply gifted, followed by Tequila and Sharp at 10 is tailed off. The winner is number one, All Loire, trained by Paul Green, uh, I should say owned by Paul Green, trained for him by Martin Pye, but ridden by Tony McCoy. Second is number two, Afarad, owned by J.P. McManus, trained by Christy Roach, and ridden by Charlie Swan. And third is number three, Golden Rule, owned by the Crocker Gold Syndicate, Trained by Francis Crowley and written by Richard Dunwoody. Fourth, Simply Gifted. Fifth, Tequila. And sixth, Sharp at ten. But all in Wari really did, uh, I think, want them to go a little bit faster early. But once he got into his stride, this uh, very, very promising hurdler was just far too classy and put in some really spectacular jumps. Tony McCoy coming back he'll be riding you deep in the Grand National on Saturday 
for trainer Martin Pipe. And uh, this is a horse uh, 